Ever since the day I really got the phone number of my crush, I always daydream that not to how to impress on a text, but what does a phone number actually means. And as cheesy as it might sound, this indeed is the topic of today's video that what does phone number actually means and why you always can't seem to get the number of your own choice. Let's take an example 998877665. I mean, that would be totally awesome. And why is it not possible? We are going to dive exactly into this topic. Now, to be precise, this video is in context with Indian phone numbers. So if you are from US, UK, Canada, Australia, this video may not be much more helpful. But if you are interested in knowing more about Indian phone number, then please continue watching this video. Now, India is a huge country. Talking about geographical size, it's seventh largest country in the world and managing such a huge portion of area is not an easy task. So we need to split all of the landmass into various administrative level, be it national, be it state, be it district, be it cities, be it rural, be it municipality. I mean, you get the point. And same really goes for telecom industry. In India, telecom industry can be divided into four telecom areas. That is Circle A, Circle B, Circle C and Circle D. That is metropolitan area that includes Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata and Chennai. And if you further divide down this area into multiple chunks, you will get 23 telecom circles in India. We have Airtel, we have Geo, we have BSNL, and we have uh, Vodafone Idea as our telecom carrier itself. And each of them are being regulated by Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, that is TRI, and that is the Department of Telecommunication. Now you might question what does it have in context with phone number? Well, quite a lot. But before moving on towards it, you might question that why do we even have a 10 digit number? Why can't we have 8, 9 or 11 digit number like what China has? The 10 digit number is in the creation of national numbering plan which was introduced by government of India back in 2003. If you do the permutations and combination correctly, you will get a 10 billion combination or 10 billion phone number which is a lot of phone number. And the population of world is 7.5 billion if I'm not wrong. And the population of India is right now is around 1.3 billion and half of them are really using right now the phone number which is a lot more number to just you know to exhaust that limit of 10 billion combination we'll talk about iot devices later because that is much more critical point and now to understand the logistics of the phone number and how it's been allocated throughout the country to various operators by the government of india we need to look over to this wikipedia article what that really means is that the number will start from 900 up to double nine double nine which is just short from ten thousand so as the number really goes on as the slot all of the fell together the series of eight really began the series of seven also began and geo also introduced the series of six which most of them is pretty much empty and there are a couple of slots of airtel as well now this chart may look a little bit intimidating for a while but it's really simple what it essentially says that just by looking at the first four digit of the number you can essentially tell that to which operator does this number belong, whether it's of Geo, whether it's of Airtel, whether it's of uh, V or BSNL. But this rule doesn't really apply if you have ported your number from Airtel to BSNL or Geo or whatever might be the case. So if you have not switched your number, this rule will really apply to those conditions. So let's take our example, which we have mentioned in the thumbnail. 7757111111. Now this sounds like a fancy number and indeed it is. This number is being managed by Airtel in the area of Maharashtra and Goa. Now, for example, if you are from Rajasthan, if you are from Kerala or if you are from Tamil Nadu instance, and in that case, you really want the 7757. You just can't get over there. Either you have to come to Maharashtra physically or you have to tell your relative who happened to live in Maharashtra or Goa and tell them, hey, just get a number which starts from 7757, which is bit imp impractical which is not really much more viable considering that you just need to buy a phone number and, and no one really does that and similarly the number triple nine triple nine is managed by Vodafone Idea in Delhi and the number 7587 has been managed by BSNL in Madhya Pradesh and 7020 is managed by Geo in Maharashtra and Goa and this essentially explains you why you always can't seem to get a lucky number or VIP number of your own choice it's always been restricted by the geographical area, by the geographical circle, by the telecom operator. Let's say the 7757 has been managed by Airtel. And if you hate Airtel and if you want that number from Geo or Vodafone Idea or BSNL, they just can't give you. That number has been specifically allocated to Airtel in this area of Maharashtra and Goa. So if you happen to be somewhere like what I previously mentioned, you just can't seem to get that. So that is the permutation combination that you need to just kind of really figure it out. 
But this was just about mobile phone numbers. What about other devices? What about IoT devices like security cameras, heaters, smart fridges, Wi-Fi dongle, Wi-Fi hotspot, EV connectivity, which majority, let's say Ather, Ola, are coming with their own EV connectivity, in which the internet is just built in, in their scooter so that it can really effectively communicate with your smartphone itself. So in that case, instead of having a 10 digit number, which will really quickly exhaust that 10 billion number, government of India decided that for all of these devices, be it IoT, be it other purpose, which are not intended for human purpose, we will really allocate them a 13 digit number so that they won't really mix and interfere with this 10 billion limited number, which is intended for human purpose. And this video wouldn't be complete if I don't talk about telephone numbers. Now, frankly, I know no one really uses telephone numbers. It's kind of really obsolete. But you'll be surprised that a lot of companies, a lot of uh, hospitals, a lot of local shops, actually, you do use telephones. So the rules for telephone numbers are a bit relaxed and they really heavily depend upon the area code. And each area has its own calling code. So let's take, for example, the tier one, tier two and tier three cities have their various telephone calling code. Take for example 20 which is given to Pune, 22 or 22 which is given to uh, Mumbai. Same goes for Delhi, Hyderabad and other areas. So the first prefix would be a calling code. So every, every, every telephone number starts with the number zero because zero kind of really indicates that you really want to connect with all of the devices which are in India itself. So the number starts with zero followed by the calling code and followed by the prefix of the telecom code. So after your area code, if the number of the telephone number starts with two, then that number is probably managed by BSNL and MTNL. And if the number is three, then that number is managed by Reliance. Four is for Airtel. Five is for MTS. I think MTS is died right now. Six is for Tata and seven is for Datacom solution. I don't know which company it is, but apparently this is what the trend is. So that's all about telephone numbers. I hope you have seemed to like this video. Consider subscribing to this channel, share this video to all of your friends if you have find this uh, video valuable. Let them know that what their phone number actually means. With that said, stay connected and I'll see you in the next video.